Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and I'm doing Tokyo from Russia Sentai Tokyo Jr. And obviously, I'm going to be covering its transformation. So, how about we get this down into its train mode? Hey, oh wait, wait, where'd it go? Oh, and there they are. The the rushes here. Are, hold them. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let me just move this up, and then I will cover all of the rushes. And should have done this sooner. They actually have individual modes before their big train mode. I'll be covering those. Start with um, Tokyo One. It's a very nice locomotive. I like it, and I think it's. Yeah, I know it's kind of funny because a locomotive probably wouldn't been like that, but oh well. And it's really nice, and to combine, you just slap that there, and this thing is long, it's like a snake train, like, the way it transforms, if you look at it, it's like a giant snake. And, it's like using a, like a sword. And I like it. And next is the number two, and it's a bullet train, and I don't know why, I just always like bullet trains, this is really cool. And this thing can obviously do that, which I think is interesting. There's not much to say about all these in the individual modes because they're kind of small, but you attach it to that. It's like a broken train mode. My both little heads broken, but I like the little the huge bullet train itself. It's really, really cool. And we get the cable car. I think it's like a cable car. Yeah. And it just moves like that. And this thing is really, really cool. Just combine it with that. It's one long cable car. Yeah, it's really nice. Russia's four and five are like that, and I'm not gonna be covering their big long train mode. You can probably look that up because well the clips aren't the best on it, so I just won't be covering that. And Russia four is a nice other like bullet train. It's a little bit let's show the similarities. Yeah. Pretty similar. And then you just move it up. And it's pretty much the same thing, except it's green. Like, if you do that, except it moves that way. Yeah, basically the same thing, but they're all really nice. Let me take that. It's a cable car, pretty sure, but it's pink. And it's pretty nice. It's a little cable car. It's really interesting. That's cool. So, yeah, you've seen all five of them in their cheering mode. Oh. This little signal thing, it's their gun, obviously, and their sword. You can put it on the red trim, clipping it on like that. And there you go. Here it is. All right. Now I'm coming into the big train carrier mode. You're going to take that and slot it into there. And on the other side. And you're going to take these two connector ports out. And where there is that. That. And you're just gonna move these up, and just to let you guys know, when you move them up, you'll see them click down. When you wanna move them back, you just move it up, and then you do that. So, and then you're gonna move that. And then you just do that. And you move that. And you're just gonna fold that down, fold down the head. And spread out the legs. Pull the fifties. And then pull the train doors out. And there's Tokyo. And I actually love going there articulation because it's very interesting. It does that. The arms can rotate. The fists can rotate. Pretty much it. I mean, if you want the head to move up, you can do that. And we're gonna take a little signal thing if you want to. Hold that out as a gun, as a sword. And I should take that out. And yeah, that's Tokyo. It's really amazing. Um, I heard about the new Dino Charge Zords, and the review will be coming. So just stay tuned until then. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back with the, this is not Curie Uger. I said, oh no, 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 no. You don't need to see that yet. 
And this is the Dino Charge Megazords from Kiryuger. And I'll have the size a lot better, and this is just a lot cooler. But you want to see the individual swords, of course, so let me just cover that up and uh, let's just get to the swords. Alright, hey, there they are. Let me just lower that down so you can see the Triceratops and Stegosaurus. Oh no, you guys saw too much. Anyway, uh, just table this. Alright, that's good enough. So, this is the Dino Charge Zords, and I think they're really cool. And where I am right now, the Dino Charge Zords came out, Parasaurolophus and Velociraptor came out, the Morpher, the Sword, and battery packs, and action figures, and motorcycles. They're all in. It's like overload. So, anyway, let's go over the Zords in number order. This is number one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This thing is awesome. I love it so much. The mouth can move, and this is a bonus. It's a Zord Builder. The head can move along the neck. The legs can move, but sometimes they won't lock. Like, my only complaint is that they'll lock here and there on and off, but it's all right because either way, he looks pretty cool. No little hands can move, and that's about it. But this guy's amazing. I do wish they put a little paint on top or paint black on here like Kiryuger, but what are you going to do? Next, number three, and I know we missed number two, I'll get to that in another review, is the Stegosaurus. Really, really cool. I like Stegosaurus. <laughs> it's not really stupid. So anyway, only articulation he really has is opening his mouth, but it kind of looks weird. And his legs can move. He can, he can run, kind of. Yeah. All right. Stegosaurus, we'll bring that a little bit back in. My favorite out of the bunch, the Triceratops. Yeah, I know, it's like in pink, it's weird, but it's just really cool. A pink ranger gets a triceratops, not a tiny little zord for once. And also the girl in Kiryuger, who was, um, who's the Violet Ranger, she also got her own big zord, and I reviewed it. It's Please On from Juden Sensei Kiryuger. It's just amazing. So, same articulation for that. You can move that up, but it looks abnormal. And you can make a run, too. So, I don't have the batteries. I know I, I, know I should, but... I just don't want to just have them out here right now. And, um, but with the batteries in, you would insert them in right there, close it, and that will come up. Yeah, the good thing about these toys is that you can, um, do a little, these batteries, they're called chargers, on your own. You, you don't need the charger. So, Stegosaurus, the rest of them have these little things at the bottom, so when you move it, you move it up. Or if you use just a little more force, you get. Why is it not working? It's funny. Hold on. Stegosaurus is not being cooperative right now. Let's see if I got it. And yeah, he becomes like a unicorn, Stegosaurus. It's pretty funny. Um. And you got the Triceratops, move that down, and we get, yeah, awesome tail. We're just going to keep that up enough for the transformation. Now, we're just going to take the Tyrannosaurus, and you're going to bring this back section down, bring those legs back, bring that down twice, and then bring these legs back twice. So you're going to take this, and there's a little peg and a little slot. You slot those in right there, and it... The helmet is stored in the legs and not in the tail. Skate helm, however. So you're gonna fold the arms in, take the tail off, take the tail, fold it, have that off for now. Helmet's off for now. And we're gonna take Triceratops, move that up, and we're just gonna move these arms in and just take it in right there. Stexaurus. There's that. And, you know, just keep that up for now. And now we're going to just take the head, flip that up, take the helmet, put that down, twist it. And, oh no, we're not done yet. Take the back, plug it in these two bottom clips, and there is your Dino Charge Metazord. Pretty cool. I like it. Articulation-wise, it, the head does have a little tiny joint. The arms can move, full 360. Well, not really because of the tail. The legs can move back, not really forward. But the Megazord itself is just amazing. It's really, really cool. And um, 
I forgot to mention that's a sword. You take that, you put that down, you peg it into the hand, and then it's a sword. And then you can just put it back in. Or you can take both of them off and just have normal hands, but it's a lot cooler to have these on. Anyway, guys, that is my time. I will see you in another review later. Hello, guys. I am back with another review. Yeah, it's not the Dino Charge Megazord. Well, it kind of is, but it's got some different looking arms, and we're going to review those today. The Parasaur Lophus and the Velociraptor. So, I've got a really good idea. Why don't we take a look at the individual Zords? All right. All right, where'd they go? They're right here. So... These swords are really, really cool. And I do have a favorite dinosaur, and it's not one of these, but I hope it comes out soon. It's a Ankylosaurus. It was in Cure Uger, so it will come out soon, hopefully. And this one is number two, so I'll take a look at the Parasaurolophus. Really neat zord. I do like its tail. The It's very, very similar to the one in um, Cure Uger, actually, except... These were a little more silver paint and it was obviously bigger, but if we're not talking about size, that is it that they missed, which means great detail. Good job, Saban. So obviously, mouth open. Will not be covering these batteries or chargers. Please do not get mad at me for that. And you know, articulation-wise, arms move that way. The legs can move back and that far forward, that far back. So anyway. Very cool, and if you want to activate its mode, you push that forward and you get gun. And just for fun, that can move. And we'll just keep it out. And the last Zord in the Kiryuger line so far, the Velociraptor. That was, that was such a weird entry, I'm sorry. But... Seriously, this guy's not bad, and he's really cool. And obviously, they're supposed to be silver, and these things come off. So it's kind of interesting if you want to spray paint them silver, like the show, you can. Mouth opens, obviously. That moves back, that moves forward, vice versa. That moves forward, let the ankles move. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as this guy, but it's black, and the tail's different, and much better than Kiryu Jersey. You move that up. And the claw is so much bigger. In the Japanese, it was only like that long, but this is so much better. And we're going to keep that up too. I just like it so much. So, now we're going to take the Tyrannosaurus. Oh, he's not transformed. Hold on, guys. Wait. Is he transformed? No, he's not. Hold on. There we go. That's much better. We'll have him there. We'll take the Parasaurol Lophus. Move those forward. Pull those all the way around, move those in, and pull that in, and do the same with the other side, and open that, and then we'll just plug that in, and we'll take the Velociraptor, do the same thing, there's that, and we're just going to fit that on, and that's, in Japan, that's Kiryu-Jur Western, and here it's Dino George Western, I guess, I don't know, yeah, I guess it is Dino. You can call it Dino Charge Western, I guess. Well, that's what I'm going to call it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll post more videos if I can, but until then, I'll see you later. Hey, guys, just want to let you know that was three reviews in one video. I actually did that on purpose because I just want to do something new. I haven't posted a video in a while, and that is the triple review. I won't be naming where it's from. I will just be saying... That it's Tokyo, Dino Charge Megazord, Dino Charge T Rex with extra swords. I I don't know, but anyway, I will see you guys later. And well, actually, I might see you next week. Um, we'll see. See ya.